How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Motorsport. We just received a new trailer and more information about Forza Motorsport in the most recent Xbox Game Showcase that just finished. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything new we know as of today, the release date, some features, some information from the blog post and along with analyzing the trailer because we get to see some car customization and upgrades as well. Let's jump straight into it. The first thing that you're all going to be eager for, it's the release date. Forza Motorsport is coming out on the 10th of October for standard and deluxe edition owners. If you have the premium edition, you get to play five days early on October the 5th. That's just under four months away. So the game's a lot closer than I had anticipated. As usual, if you have the standard or deluxe edition and you want to upgrade, to the premium edition you can do that with the premium add-ons bundle so let's focus on the trailer first what was seen in the trailer the still shots and analyze it what can we see that is new well as we already know now the cover cars for forza motorsport are the cadillac racing v series from this year and the 2024 chevrolet corvette e-ray these are two cars owned by General Motors. General Motors own Cadillac and Chevrolet. Now, Forza have also announced a partnership with them relating to the game, which explains the two cover cars being a General Motors car, basically. The trailer did focus quite heavily on them two cars, as expected, but between them shots, we got, we got our first view of some of the main menus, car customization, and stuff like that. So let's take a sneak peek. So this is a still shot of the main menu, it looks to be, or the garage, or the home, whatever you want to call it, the main menu, I would say, where we can see options to go race, cars, driver, media, store, and settings. Pretty cool. It's, they've definitely changed up the, the, the design of how UIs are now. It's very different from past motorsport games as you'd expect. We didn't get to see all of these settings, but what we did get to see is the cars setting. So let's go into that. We can see that it comes up with this page here where we can view the specific car that we're in, design and paint. We can upgrade and tune the car. We can place the car in a car bay, which is very interesting. We can sell it or we can return to my cars. So that sounds really cool. I'm quite intrigued to know what place in car bay means. Are we going to be able to pick certain cars to place in a car bay and sort of display them in our garage? That'll be really cool. I can approve of that and sell as well. Is there going to be an auction house we can sell the cars on? Can we just sell the cars to the game and get credits back like that? That'll be really good. So again, the UI looks very different from past Forza games. And we can see over on the right hand side, um, there's statistics about whatever car you're in. We can see the usual graph chart, a PI rating, in which case this one is S, and then details about where if it's mid-engined, rear-engined, and the price that the car is worth as well. What else did we get a glimpse of within the trailer? Well, we got a glimpse at the upgrade shop. Let's take a look at that now. We can see that if we go to upgrade the car, we have seven options of categories to tune and stuff like that. We've got fuel and air, engine, platform and handling, tires and rims, drivetrain, aero and appearance, and conversion. Pretty cool. Now we actually got to view within some of these sections. We got to have a sneak peek at the fuel and air one. Let's take a look at that. The fuel and air category will consist of an exhaust, air filter, intake manifold and throttle body, fuel system, and ignition. Now I'm gonna guess it's unknown just yet if these are car specific. So if certain cars will have more upgradable things within this category or if this is just the defaults for everything and do you know what I'm trying to say. We're going to take a look at the drivetrain customization as well where we can tune and upgrade the transmission, the differential, the clutch and the drive line. Very cool. We have a look at the conversion as well but we have aspiration conversion which I would presume is where you plonk a turbo or plonk a supercharger on the car, engine swap, body kit and drivetrain swap also very cool to see. Now we got to have a sneak peek at the aero and appearance as well, which have rear wing. There was just a rear wing option for here. So I'm going to guess that at least the aero and appearance is car specific. Certain cars might have front splitters, so it might say front splitter on here as well. In this case, the Corvette only had rear wing. If you want to explore the rest of the UI on the screen, pause and have a look. We can see stuff like the buttons. It's just nice to look into detail about everything. There's a quick upgrade button, a finish upgrade button. So we can probably expect to be able to build up all of our upgrade into a basket and then pay at the end just to save a little bit of loading times and stuff like that. So in terms of all the upgrades, the UIs and everything we could pause on within the trailer, 
that is everything sort of UI related. So it's given us a bit of a sneak peek into the customization the game will have to offer. What else was spotted in the trailer? Well, there's a little bit of a glimpse at the pit stops. It's presume it's common knowledge now that the game will have pit stops and stuff like that. Um, we've got to see a little bit of that in the Cadillac, I believe. But not much more other than that. It was just a normal trailer with the Corvette and the Cadillac racing around a track. We got to see certain tracks like Spa, the usual. I don't think there was anything that hasn't already been confirmed. Correct me there if I'm wrong, because it's a big deal if that is the case. Let's take a look at the blog post now and certain quotes from there. The blog post actually included a few screenshots, which some of them were quite intriguing in terms of seeing what cars we're going to get. We have received a somewhat confirmed car list, but not a full one. There might be some cars in these screenshots that have not yet been confirmed which now are confirmed, I guess, because we've seen them in screenshots. So I will roll through them screenshots as we are talking about the blog post. Maybe you'll spot some cars that you're looking forward to driving. Outbuild the competition by earning over 800 performance upgrades and race our most advanced AI opponents yet in a new fun and rewarding single player campaign, the Builder's Cup career mode. That seems to be the main sort of core career mode in single player, Builder's Cup sounds really cool i'd love to see more into that well it does say when we're going to get that we'll introduce you properly to the single player car building experience including a full walkthrough with actual gameplay in our next forza monthly live stream on tuesday june the 13th so in just a few days we're going to get a forza monthly with actual gameplay and walkthrough of the builders cup career mode that says we can earn over 800 performance upgrades in that sounds really cool and they seem to be mentioning AI opponents as well that are going to be better than ever. We'll see how that's going to pan out. Compete for the podium in featured multiplayer events with race weekend inspired structure. That sounds intriguing. And or create the racing you and your friends desire in free play. So you can free play with your mates or have a race weekend featured multiplayer events. I presume every week, every month, depends how much it changes. Online racing is safer, more fun and more competitive with AI powered Forza race regulations, tyre and fuel strategy, new driver and safety ratings. So they have gone to town with features to make online racing as safe, less griefable I would say with AI powered regulations, strategy, safety ratings, just everything to make online racing the best experience you can get. I hope it ends up as good as it sounds. I really, really do. And the race weekend inspired structures sound cool as well. Maybe a, a few practice sessions, a qualifying, then a race. That's the dream. That's the dream to have a Forza Motorsport game that is just so realistic in every way. Pit stops, proper strategy, not strategy that you can just work around, proper strategy that you need to sort of work on with realistic opponents, realistic rules. And it seems like that's what they're saying we're going to get. Now that to me sounds amazing. We will see and hear a lot more about this on Tuesday when we get to see gameplay of the Builders Cup. Some proper gameplay for once with commentary, with live commentary. It's going to be our first proper glimpse at Forza Motorsport and I can't wait. We've had a little bit of glimpses today and so far it looks really cool. So let me know in the comment section below guys what you're most excited for. That is everything that was revealed today in terms of details. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you all later.